Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're continuing right back where we last left it off. Someone literally put powder on my face. The fuck was that? All right, let's go, boys. Fighting up these goons once and for all. I am getting tired of this shit, man. I just got uh, beat it up so badly. All right, I gotta beat this guy up. Yeah, big time. Gotta use all my energy balls that I got. That's the only way I, I could defeat him. There we go. I see my partner is doing some jobs for once and stuff. There we go. Keep going after them. We're, keep going after them. There we go. Just like that. There we go. That's what I like to see. EX action. Get him. Nice. That's what I like to see, boys. Right there. You keep running and you do a lot of the EX action and everything. Oh, look at that move. That's unbelievable right there. All right, let's go. We got him, and we're about to get this guy as well. There we go, just throw a bunch of stuff at their face, man. Uh, at this point, I, I'm not even sure, like, not even sure how and who could stop me. Nobody can stop me. EX action, boom, there we go. DDT on his ass, and get his uh, ass as well right there. Boom, all right, although I actually dodged that, that's interesting. That's really interesting. All right, we gotta get these two last guy right there. All right, go, boom. All right, this, he, he eva actually evaded that. I'm getting chainsawed right there. EX action, gotta grab him really quick. With all these EX action uh, that I got right here as a bonus, boys. Doing very well. All right, so I gotta, what the, okay, watch out now. Yeah, take the chair. Yo. I'm doing good right now. Oh shit, he got me, he got me. He, oh fuck, he got me, yeah, I'm dead. That was pretty much really bad, real quick. Okay, it, it, the, him and his goddamn chainsaw, it's gonna be a problem. The goddamn powder in my face. What the hell, man? All right, get this guy right quick. Okay, watch out now, I gotta get the chair again. Gotta get the chair to protect myself again. Unbelievable. You're, are they going to do something to help me out? Good lord. Alright, got him again. Boom. Back in the neck right there. Got rid of your goddamn chainsaw. Finish you off already. Can I take the chainsaw myself? Come on. Get him. Oh shit. Watch out. No. Ah, powered up myself. But you, you got to help me out, Kaido. Fuck. This is annoying as hell. Gotta get him real quick. No, dodge him. Good job, good job. There we go, got him. Dodged it big time right there. All right, the EX action again, boys. No, you don't. All right, go, uh, get him. And there's uh, the EX action right there. There we go. Double team, boys. Just uh, like to see it. There we go, that's fantastic right there. We got him. What a t what a way to start the video as well. Good lord. Here I wanted to for this video to do some side uh, side stuff. I don't think it's gonna happen, boys. Going full in. What the hell does RK want with Kuma? What did he do? Tell me how Sawa Sensei and Kawana are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, he's too strong. He's just too strong. I need Kaido, man. Akutsu! Really? Man, that guy's invincible. What are you doing? Don't stand there. Go after him. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Nah. He's definitely got some skills. And we better start taking him seriously. Now, Kaito needs to tell me that this guy... Literally, did a freeze on me and only used 50% of his power or something. You gotta be shitting me. I've got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. I had to try something. 
I'm the one who dragged you into this, after all. But you know, the first person to suspect something was Higashi-san. He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. <laughs> Better thank him, too. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girls' bar witnessed this, and based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawai was murdered. Got it. Then I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. They fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Right. I never imagined things would get this dangerous. We just got back to Sawasensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamurocho looking for Kawai. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fixit. He's popular on the Eugene Show Underground. Even Kawana was a fake name. And this mystery man has some connection to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns, so take care of yourself, okay? I'll be all right. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Yeah. Now for now. Sensei's room number. For how long am I going to be with these two? Coming with you. Yeah, you better be coming. Uh, come with me, man. I'm tired of being all uh, left uh, all alone. You you know what happens when I uh, be left alone? I'm getting chainsawed to death. You guys should probably start helping me out more often. You know, like real detectives. Fucking asshole partners, boys, I swear. At least I'm getting free points. I do level up pretty fast because of that. I'm getting uh, sure uh, free points quiet. all day. This is where the fight went down? Yeah. But to look at it, you wouldn't think anything had happened here. Sawa-sensei. She's probably not even there. Geogamy. What's up? You do remember that he, he, the guy had a knife on her, right? He probably oh. killed her. It's unlocked. Right after, uh, right after they kidnapped me. It's only natural. No. How did we forget about the whole situation where he had a knife on her? Like, seriously. Well, there it is. She's dead. No way. Oh God. Man, this is getting complicated. What the fuck are we gonna do now? That's the. Wait, that was chapter seven. That was the 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 literally the smallest chapter ever. The school teacher Yokosawa. All right, well, we're going into chapter eight. I feel like we're going towards the end here. This is something. Now she died. Her death is merely collateral damage to some. It's collateral damage. Now we go. We don't have anybody to talk to. The only one is Kawana, who has a connection with her, but we don't know where he is. The Phantom of Lincho. This is getting out of control, boys. We gotta put an end to this. And quick. Too much stuff going on at once. Yeah. That's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. They literally asked you to not touch anything. She touched your fa her face. Now you're gonna have all her, your prints on her face. Her on way. Are you all dumb right. or what, Kaido? She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master, he lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? 
How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Exactly. She had a connection, connection, something to do with uh, Kuwana, and she had something to do with the, uh, with the goons, the RK, and everybody. The leads is that Soma's gang was after Kuwana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kuwana. Yeah. Except Kuwana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kita Kanta. Soma gave us that. I don't have much time until the police arrive. I have to be thorough as I can. Okay, let me see really quick. As uh, tears. Alright, so let's pull on full There's detective. So in the here. back of the neck. What do you think that's a really good shot right there. That's... Sure is tight. Uh, that's a really good way of killing Keep someone. Back in the net, boys, with a needle. That's a good one. An ice pick, most so that's uh, that's a professional right there. Nice pick uh, to the net of the neck would be fatal. Is that how she died? If only that uh, she didn't suffer long. All right, so uh, clues to the truth. Let's find out more, shall we? Uh, probably they were searching something. Or maybe it's a scene they, uh, they made it seem like it was a uh, breaking and entering. Uh, let me see really quick anything at all that could be of interest anything else clues to the truth crime scene details All right, so the crime scene details. I don't have anything else really uh, I only have these oh, hold on we got this Ovion's uh, wounds of the body. Yes, because she fell down uh, Oh, there we go. We got something better peek in the trash can the phone number could this be probably Maybe some RK thugs barged in, took her phone, and threw it in here. What do you want to do? Check her mail? Call log? Yeah, I do. Suspicious. All right, we gotta check. Uh, that is it. probably a, a, don't have time to crack it's a job for the police, Tom's but I guess we can do it. So we just gonna leave it here? Yeah, unfortunately. But let's look around some more. Obviously, we need to know, like, we would need to know the uh, or, uh, the secret phone number or uh, and stuff like that in order to enter. But we don't have that, so. All right, so I don't really know what to search for, to be honest. I really don't know. What are you looking at? Why aren't you helping me out? You guys are just standing there like a bunch of idiots, like always. Don't change, guys. Just don't change. All right, I don't have anything whatsoever here. Uh, is the weapon of crime scene is it here or a splash? What? Oh, we got some stuff. Not a lot though. Yeah, looks like it. Trail of blood, probably hers. How far does it go? Sawa's blood managed to t reach this far. Academy yearbook. Well, Dang. well, well. Look at that, boys. We might have something right here. Isn't that your book from when Sawa sent it went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. Huh? How is her blood gouging all over the place is a clue, my guy. No, what the fuck are you talking about? It's in the back of her neck. She has no way of making that decision. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. Now think, what do I do with this year, uh, yearbook? Take the yearbook uh, with you? That's evidence. That's disruption of evidence right there. Uh, look at it until the cops arrive. Don't touch the yearbook. Um, don't touch it. It's, it's destruction of evidence. We can't be doing that. I know. If you pass on this now, you're not going to get another chance. Don't you want to know what's in there? I do. I mean, 
But it's disrupting evidence. Really? You're gonna let me disrupt the evidence? Alright, fuck it. Let's, say just, let's just take the yearbook then. Now. Fuck it, I guess. It if that's what you want later. me to do. I'll it's just disrupt the evidence and we'll uh, get in trouble with the cops. No, whatever. If that's what the game wants me to do. Really? Is that even legal? Of course not. But fuck legal at this time. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Mm, good point. It's better off with us then. I feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. Uh, I have to play the thief? Why? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, fine, I'll do it. I don't have much time until the police arrive. I'll have to be as thorough as I can. There's not much else. Crime scene details. Wait, how are they able to get in? I told her not to open the door until the police came. I'm sure that's exactly what she did. Well, obviously the windows. There's got to be windows somewhere, a way for them to get in. So they came ready. They had tools and forced their way in. They didn't even care who saw them. I imagine how scared Sawa must have been. Okay. I mean, it's pretty uh, simple enough. All right, finally the cops. Cops are right here, finally. So, Hachad, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah. Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Yeah, so more for, uh, from RK tried to get rid of me. They won't hesitate to kill someone but just to shut them up. I mean, that was literally after they killed... They, 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 she... I told you. The police need to I made the simplest solution. They got the... They, they got me and then right afterwards they didn't need her anymore. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. You can go on home. Just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul mouth as fuck. But not bad, Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, bad. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei There's Sawa a link between the murder, uh, murder, both murders. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to complete completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. 
while I'm doing so it. get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. And they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. They bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. The hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. Okay, it's not the, it's not our problem. I, it's the cops' problem. This is all They're the simple. ones struggling right now. They can't be doing nothing. Yet. And as you've heard. They have no way of doing anything because their superiors don't want them to do anything. So I'm forced. I'm left alone with this, all this shit. How am I going to do anything? This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you. But please do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to. Well. None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sala Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. I should head over to the Chairman's office? I guess so. Guess we're gonna talk to the chairman, boys. It's a very bad moment right now. Obviously, there you are, hey. Amasawi. Hey. Uh, Awasama, uh, Awasama. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa Sensei. This yeah. is why I need your help now than ever, my girl. I know it's gonna put you in danger, but I need your help. You're the best detective I know. I and that's saying something. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. It's not too dangerous. Forget about the dangerous, dangerous Yagami. We need all the this help we can get. Case to me. Fuck, I Except hate Yagami so much, son. boys. Unbelievable. Yagami-san. <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. It's a bad mistake. Bad mistake, Yagami. We need all the help we can get. And right now you're rejecting the MRC's help. Fuck, I hate Yagami so much, boys. He's such a despicable, uh, like, character. He's despicable. He's stupid, he's ugly, and he can't think for himself. Like, really. The one thing you gotta... Like, you would think that he would know. He has the MRC under his hands. I'm a saw one, uh, one of the greatest detectives that I've ever seen in my life. He doesn't want her help. It's as if Sherlock Holmes actually existed and you didn't go for a uh, call. You didn't call him for help in a situation like this. Are you shitting me? Like the, Yagami is literally a dumbass sometimes. I like I know Kaido is not have much help, but even he seems smarter than Yagami. It's unbelievable. Enter. These characters are despicable, boys. I like, like the Thank most of the part, the game itself, the story. I sure. like it, 
But the characters, some of the characters, the main characters, I hate them so much. They're they're just too too stupid for my liking. I don't like. Uh, I don't know. Saba Sensei was. Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba Sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakime san. I wish I could agree with that. But I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK, and it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. <sighs> but I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shifukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa Sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had a whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. And the last thing we need is for them to start trouble again. I would hope they understand uh, what's going on here and that they can't be uh, making mistakes like this again. Sometimes I just don't get it, boys. I just don't get the f the the way of uh, of thinking, the path of thinking that Yagami da has. You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba Sensei's body. Now Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. Are you the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that.
Everyone's so damn gloomy. Sucks. Sawa-sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy, and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiva sensei Hey, we've heard enough out of you! Yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san... Well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um... Well... If you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody-two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Miko Shiba sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! I think she likes me, boys. I think uh, she likes me so very much. She, she wouldn't act like that really if she didn't like me, that's for sure. Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction at least. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. Damn. That's something. That's crazy. That is something I've actually never seen in my life. A bully apologizing. I've never actually seen that in my life. That's crazy. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. Thanks. Making some great step over here in the school. Should I be? A, I should be a, a school teacher or counselor a, a full time, I guess. Look at the progress I made in like about a few weeks. All right. Well, we're gonna stop the video right here. Lots of gloomy stuff happening, of course. The death of uh, Sawa. Uh, we uh, are trying to find out more about Kuana and, and stuff. There's not a lot we can do while being at school, uh, especially since we're not uh, uh, requiring the help of the MRC. We don't want it, apparently, for some odd reason. I'm going to stop talking about that, obviously, because it's going to get annoying for you guys. But uh, so, yeah, without uh, the MRC, I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, I guess we're going to have to figure it out. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.